Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. Today we'll discuss the topic, the notion, the concept of homonyms. What are homonyms? We already talked about it. This is our fourth video in the series. This is our fourth lesson. We already discussed it the first three times. What are homonyms? Homonyms are typically two words. Sometimes there, are, there happen to be three words, two or three words that happen to have different spellings. They have different spellings. They have different meanings. They mean different things, but they happen to have the same pronunciation for some strange and inexplicable reason. Even though they are spelled differently, even though they have different, different meanings, but for some strange and inexplicable reason, we pronounce them in the same way. We have already learned 1 through 40. Today we are going to pick up from number 41. Let's get going. Number 41. Number 41. Wave, as in wave that we see in an ocean. And then we have this wave. With an I wave with an I and of course they are pronounced the same way which is why they are called homonyms they are pronounced in the exact same way which is they are called homonyms just, just excuse me one second here I just want to make sure that I have not made a boo boo 31 all right wave what does this word mean which means, this way means to, to not enforce something. To not enforce something. That's, that's something. To not enforce something. As in, as in, for example, for example, they might say, we will, we will wave, we will wave the charges. You pick up the phone and you call up your credit company and the credit card company and you tell them, listen, I see these charges on my statements. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't use the credit card during that time. I did not, uh, I did not, uh, these, these are not my charges. I did not buy this stuff. And the credit card company will say, well, in that case, we will waive those charges. You will no longer be responsible for them. We will not enforce those charges. Or we will, we will waive the late fees yes you are late we know you are late but you have not been late before this is the first time you're a good customer you've been with us for so many years as a courtesy we will waive the late fees we will not enforce the late fees we will not hold you responsible for those late fees we will waive them Let's go on. Number 42. Wait, as in, don't go away. Wait, wait for me. And wait, as in, how much do you weigh? What is your weight? Wait, don't tell me. I'm going to guess your weight myself. I'm going to guess your weight. Wait, don't tell me. 43. Which as in, which one do you want? Which as in, which one do you want? And we have this which. W-I-T-C-H. Which as in, as in the Wizard of Oz, for those of you who know it. In the Wizard of Oz, we had a which, that's a Z. Um, I, had, I rewrote it. I erased it and rewrote it for the benefit of those people those of you who are watching in outside the US. Of course, any Americans would know what Wizard of Oz is. But for your benefit, if you did not know what I meant by that, let's make it easier for you to read in the event that you want to look it up. Google it, Wizard of Oz. There was a witch in there. Actually, I think there were more than one witch. More than one witches. Witch? There are, there are three witches we have in the house. Which witch do you want? There are three of them. There are three witches. Uh, in this town, in this in this village, there are three witches. Which witch do you want? Which witch would you like to speak with?
44. Whole as in complete. As in complete. I want to eat the whole pizza. Give me the whole pizza. Give me the whole pizzas. Don't put a hole in it. I want the whole pizza without the hole in it. Hole as in open space, you know what a hole is. I'm not going to be silly enough to repeat. Let's carry on. Number 45. Number 45. I was about to explain you what this hole is, but of course you know it. It'll be silly to spend time on that. Flu. Flu as in disease. I have a flu. I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. I've caught a flu. And of course we have this flu. Which is the past tense. Past tense. Past tense of of flow. Not flow. What the hell is the matter with me? Past tense of fly, I think. In my road here I have flow here. Fly, flu, yes, the past tense of fly. Like I said, what the hell is the matter with me? I caught a flu because I flew in the cold frigid wind. I should not have flown in the cold frigid wind. I flew in the cold wind and I caught a flu. 46. Add as in as in the antonym of subtract. This is the one that I find very annoying. This is the find I find very annoying and I'll tell you why. Many a time, many a times I have seen youngsters who 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 use who end up using ADD when they mean to say AD because here we are using it as as an as an abbreviation of advertisement. If you're going to use, if you're going to abbreviate the word advertisement, the abbreviation of the word advertisement requires only one A, one D, because that's all we have here. There's only one D. If you use two Ds, if you use two Ds, that means to add. Two plus two, add them. Two and two, add the two numbers. Add them, don't subtract them. But many a times I have seen youngsters for some strange reason, they feel that they it makes them feel it may it, for some strange inexplicable reason, they feel that it will it will make them look very smart and very sophisticated if they were to use one more D in this context. I will receive a text message. I will receive an uh, email uh, regarding some rental properties that, that I'm advertising. That I'm advertising. And they will say, I saw the ad with A D D. Well, that's good for you. But I don't want to talk to you. You're illiterate. 47. Forty-seven. Base. Base and this base. Of course, they're pronounced in the same way, which is why they're called homonyms. They both pronounce base. Of course, this base, of course, you already know, has a location. You have a base, a military base, or something like that. What is this space? This is a noun also. What does this mean? It has two meanings. It has two meanings. It has two meanings. It is base as in, as in, a uh, low pitch sound. Or male singing voice male singing voice of the lowest range which is also called bass or a low pitch sound is also called a bass but then again we also have an instrument which is called bass 
a musical instrument. I don't know if you can read that thing, that's for horrendous. Instru a musical instrument. Bass is in musical instru instrument or bass is in low pitch sound. It can also be used as an adjective if you like. You can also use this is this is both used as a noun. You can also use it as an adjective to describe something as bass. And in that case, if you're using it as an adjective, it simply means having a deep, having a deep tone, having a having a deep tone or a low pitch or a low pitch. And that's used that's used as as an adjective if you describe something as bass. Let's carry on. Number 48. Where can we put it? Number 48. Dio. Dio as in it is due next Tuesday. This book is due next Tuesday. Please bring it back. Make sure you do make sure you're not late. It is due next Tuesday. And we have this due. As in as in water drops that you see on top of the leaves in the morning. The morning dew. Number 49. We have jeans that you wear, a pair of jeans, and then we have this kind of jeans. This jean as in as in as in a pair. Pair of jeans and jeans as in the jeans that we that we study uh, in the DNA. Finally, number 50. Hi. As in not low and hi. How are you? It is now time for me to go. Bye now.